We're back and it's the holiday season and it's time to shop. I'm not shopping. What I'm doing is I'm making food gifts for everyone and we're gonna make the granola. So a few years ago, I started bringing the granola to friends and family as housewarming gifts or for the holidays. And now I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get invited or even let in the door unless I bring this granola. Rude. Anyway, so today I'm gonna to show you just a few tricks to making the best granola you've ever had. In my bowl here, I've got some old fashioned oats. And to it, I'm gonna add some pecans, cashews, and sliced almonds. Now I buy my nuts already chopped up. It's a lot easier than having to buy them whole and then chop them up. Sometimes you're a little lazy, it's okay. I'm gonna add some dried uh, coconut flakes, unsweetened, okay guys? And then some cinnamon, and then you know I have to add salt. And this may seem like a lot of salt, but let me tell you something, this is what makes everyone love this granola so much because it's seasoned. It's got that sweet and salty vibe and it's just really well balanced. So please don't skimp on the salt, you're gonna regret it, okay? Lastly, another sort of unconventional granola ingredient and it's flour. Yes, flour. The flour coats all of the ingredients and it makes it that crispy granola that you love so much. You know those big clusters and chunks that everyone reaches for and it's like, I want the chunks. That's what's gonna give you that. Again, don't skimp on this. Add it in. And then we have our liquid ingredients. So I use coconut oil. Um, it's kind of my favorite, but you could use olive oil or butter even. I used to use butter, but now I like the coconut oil because it just kind of enhances that coconut flavor. I love coconut. If you don't, swap it out. And then maple syrup. I love maple syrup. You could use honey if you want. You could use brown sugar. Um, I've used those two in the past, but I just stick with the maple syrup. It just gives it that warm sort of uh, flavor that I like. That's it guys. Those are literally the ingredients. So we're just gonna give this a nice toss. And another main thing about this recipe is you want your mixture to be wet. If it's dry, then it's not gonna give you those clusters again that you're looking for. You want it all well coated and still very wet in its appearance. That's it, we're gonna put it on a sheet tray. I've got a parchment lined sheet tray here that I'm gonna use for the granola. So I'm just gonna pop my granola on the sheet tray, spread it out. We're gonna pop this in the oven for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna take it out, move it around, redistribute it, get it all nice and golden brown, pop it back in the oven for 10 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna work on the dates. You can use any dried fruit for this granola, but my personal favorite is the medjool date. It's luscious, it's sweet, and super decadent. So, it's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is rip them apart and take out the pit. That's it. And then I use kitchen shears to cut up my dates. You get these great little tiny pieces, and it's just easier than using a knife because your knife actually kind of gathers all of the dates on one side and they all get stuck together. So this is perfect because they're all sort of separate. I can start to smell the granola. I mean, my whole apartment smells in a good way. And that's how I know that it's time to add these guys. So the granola has been cooking for a while now. It's nice and golden brown. And this is about the point that I'm gonna add my dates. So you're just sprinkling them throughout. And then we're gonna toss it about. And then we're just gonna add it back to the oven, just kind of dry out the dates a little bit, but not that much, because you might crack a tooth if you do it for too long. So 
So our granola's been out of the oven for about an hour. You have to let it cool if you wanna get these nice clusters. The granola is the perfect balance. It's kind of like a one-stop shop of fat, protein, and carbs. So we're gonna do a great workout to kind of burn all those calories. I'm just gonna to top my little yogurt parfait with some granola and dig in. Money. For this workout, we're going to do five rounds of 10 hammer curls, 10 thrusters, 10 bent over rows, 10 tricep kickbacks, and five reverse flies. Start with a weight that is comfortable yet challenging. If you want to see more content just like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel.